This morning, speaking of schools, I go to Kintampo North. There's an SDA school there. I'll show you a video. All right? Listen. Hey, why do you pardon? They were, they... I'll show you a video, Kintampo North. Watch the video. Yes, this is the state of my class, Kintampo North. In fact, SDA school. Yeah, we're not just taking over the whole class. Look at the students climbing on top of their decks. Some are even on top of the roof. Yeah, just to get shelter. In fact, this is disheartened. Myself, I plumped on top of a chair. And, and looking at it, in fact, it's not easy at all. Yeah, in fact, we are just looking for corporate bodies eh, to come and assist us. The rate has reached. The rain is entering into our plastic. It's disheartening. In fact, look at how the whole place has been flooded. In fact, myself, just to see shelter, I'm on top of a chair. This is the SDA school in King Tampo North. They are calling on private sector because they see that their government has failed them. And these days, that's a conversation, private sector, private sector. Because even those in the public sector, when they start calling, there are some people in Accra who will say, you are talking and making us unpopular, and they, they may either transfer you or deal with you in the, a certain way. Just as Shainofori is being dealt with at West Africa Secondary School. She has still not been reinstated. People are trying to cover up their incompetency, their ineptitudeness. I'll play for you another video. That is Kintampo. That's sad. We have not finished solving their flood problems. But we are busy trying to give them laptops and tablets for them to read. That's cool. Did you see any internet connection there? That's cool. Did you see any electricity there? They actually don't even have the free mind to learn this morning. If it rains there, the school will close. We are thinking of laptop because there will be procurement issues and small, small trouble that people will get and keep under their bed.